Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Woodman Incorporated. Tonight, we are just going to gather and um, sell. I mean, I need to get some monies because, oh wait, I've got 13,000. How in the world, you know what? Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm just, I'm going to go spend it. I don't think that's enough to buy my next plot of land though. Uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to get full plots of land. Um, I want to be able to have all my full plots and build before the next update. Uh, when is that? I don't know. I have no clue. I, I don't know when they're going to update. There's no set dates, but oh no, a block biz is busted. No, no Robux. <clears throat> John, do you want to buy some land? Yes. Yes, I would. It appears you already have some land. Would you like to expand it? Yes. Boom. All right. Um, let's go. Where can we go? Let's go right there. That's that's good. Twenty one thousand. Cancel. Sorry, buddy. Twenty one thousand is what we're we're needing to work towards. And I think the fastest way is to get. Um. Oh no. Is it birch? It's not birch. What's the fastest? Oh. I have no clue. You know what? Let's go get uh, lava wood. Get some volcano-y action going on. Anyhow. Oh, there is something I need to show you guys. Hold on. One second. There it is. Okay. I got to show this to you real quick. Fade, 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 fade. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. I got to reset the view. There we go. Okay. Cut. Bam. It's the assembly table. Um. By the way, I think it's grapefruit. Grape. Who, who made this? Anyhow, this is going to be the assembly table for um, creating axes, specialty axes, stuff like that. Um, it's coming. It will be here eventually. But, oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, hold on. Grape Leaf. Grape Leaf is the one that uh, created that concept for us and did the, the little concepty art stuff. But that's uh, going to be in the game uh, eventually. We're gonna have updates for it. And yes, I know that a lot of you are um, upset that it's not updating quick enough. Again, the game is in alpha, okay? It is it is still being developed. It is still being created and everything else. Um, there is going to be a lot more stuff and I'm actually working on the VR concept of it right now, where if you have a VR headset, It'll be in first person mode and you'll drive the car with your hands. You'll, you'll have uh, an inventory and I, I'm wondering how to make the inventory system work. So you know how, you know how this down here pops up, right? Well, I'm thinking about having your hands where as you're driving the car or whatnot, you can stop, jump out in your hands. You'll look at your, your hand and it'll have like the save icon and the menu icon and then a little backpack and if you click on the backpack it shows your inventory and you'll actually hold the grip button to grab one of those things out of your slots and then you'll swing it at the tree to chop it down and then to put it away you'll put it back in one of those slots so that's that's kind of my concept idea is that that's really loud music isn't it hold on settings Shh, quiet you there we go so that's the idea for the vr portion of it um we are still working on the mobile interface so mobile mobile peeps it's on its way eventually it will be here oh gosh hold up am i getting hurt yep yeah, i'm getting hurt slowly but surely all right so let's jump out here Oh gosh, I can't see. Hold on. Can I can I turn this so there we go. My lights are on the jump. Go into first person. Pretend like I've got VR. There we go. Woo! Safe. Alright. Now it's time for some lava wood. <clears throat> I I love lumber. I love wood milling. It just It's a relaxing, nice, fun time. That's what 
that's what I come into Roblox to do. It's just to, to have fun and relax. Let's get real for a second. The stress of everyday life has gone way down in the last year, in, in the last three months. And being able to come in here and play and enjoy my nighttime, you know, that's, that's something a lot of people don't get to do. And I'm very thankful for it. Um, I have a really good job. Uh, I get to program all day long, play with code inside computers, make web interfaces, APIs, um, server calls, and I do it all from scratch. I, not scratch the language. It's amazing. And I'm, I'm very lucky. And you guys apparently still like the videos. So, I mean, I still got a lot of viewers out there who watch the videos and enjoy what I do. So thank you. Thank you. Because I, I never thought or imagined that I'd be here. And I'm happy for it. I'm very happy. <sighs> It's good. It's good to just come into Roblox, relax, and chill. You know? Oh, uh, by the way, we took a trip today to a town a few miles away and um, got to go to the mall, got to hang out for a little bit, got to go um, get my hair cut, by the way, nice haircut. And we got to pick up a set of golf clubs for me. So I'm going to start golfing. Gonna pick up some golf. Of course I'm I'm almost 40, you know, that's a that's a common thing for a 40 year old to do, right? I never thought I'd enjoy golf. It always seemed slow paced and just <sighs> not really for me. Not my type of enjoyment for relaxing but it turns out I'm actually pretty good at it and it's not about the game itself it's more about the camaraderie of having some friends to go out and play with so <sighs> golf who would have thought by the way um, first article for PC magazine is written and turned in. I don't know if it's published yet, but I've written an article for PC Mag. PC Magazine. That's that's cool. <clears throat> um, I actually turned down an offer the other day. It, it wasn't a very formal offer for sponsorship, but it was um, it was a game. That was kind of like Hyperworld, kind of like uh, Roblox, where you create a game on their platform and then you invite people to come over and play it with you, right? So, hi, Jessky9093. Is that a cootie? What's up, Jason? What's up, buddy? Come on up. Oh, is he going to make it? Oh, no. Come on, bud. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, no. <laughs> He's fallen. No, Jason. Oh, he's not He's not going to make it. Dude, you're not going to make it. Oh, there he goes. He, he, close, close. Come on. Make the jump. There you go. Yay. He made it. GG, dude. <laughs> We were watching the whole time. <laughs> if you guys don't know who Cootie is, um, he is a longtime fan, longtime friend. He's created the a uh, couple of the uh, oh, what is it? The intros. He created one of the intros for my Subnautica series. Which, by the way, I need to go back and start back in on Subnautica. <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should do that tonight. Maybe I should start in on Subnautica again. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Hold on, which car is mine? Is this my car? I think this is my car. 
Yeah, that's my car. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take one down at a time and not try and push it too hard. I'm not gonna take one down to the base, just down here. I'm not gonna worry about the like massively big pieces. Oh, here, do you wanna, do you wanna help out? I can, I can totally whitelist you. There you go, bud. Close. Jason, you are uh, whitelisted. Jason, you are whitelisted. There you go. Uh, no, J not Jason. Jeremy. <laughs> not Jason. I don't know why I was thinking Jason. <laughs> He's laughing too. That's funny. Okay, hopefully I can get two of these in. Good. I'll take it back down. Come on, come on. No, go, 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 go. Oh no, get back in. You got it? He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Let's go, bud. Oh no, he dropped it. Oh no. <laughs> All good. Code, is this your game or are you just a dev? Uh, I'm just a dev. It's owned by typical, typical, Developers owned by Hoofer. There we go. Good deal. And huge shout out to every single one of the devs because I know how hard it is to be in school full time and to try and work on a game, like work on extracurriculars, stuff like that. But um, for the devs, for anybody who, like, if for your teachers, show them this video and show them this portion right here. Give these guys some extra credit on something because they work really hard to create everything in here and to keep everything fixed. I mean, the, uh, the anti-cheat alone is phenomenal. It's just crazy good. Um, to the people of Bark, Synapsis, and Blood, I think, whatever, whatever exploiting tools they are, yes, you are having a hard time getting exploits to work. And I hope you never do. But at the same time, Mad respect to you guys for for giving giving it the good try, you know. And hey, some of you might get an exploit to work, some of you might not. But at the same time, I don't hate exploiters. I got another comment the other day, like Code, why don't you like us? And I'm like, what are you talking about? That's not the point. Like, it's it's hard. It's hard to be on both sides, right? Because I, I like you guys. I like the fact that you want to develop, you want to create code, you want to explore, you know? I can't fault you for curiosities and stuff like that. What I can fault you guys for is when the exploit is harming other people, when it's destroying the economy of a game, lumber that's when I have a problem with it when you you're no longer just having fun it's no longer a curiosity you've now crossed into a different area of trolling of bullying whatever the case may be whatever you want to call it and everybody should know when it crosses that line it's it's a very known very distinct line and when you cross it that's when i get upset that's when i get mad but only then 
But don't think for a second I, I wasn't a kid once doing the same things. Now, if you're in your 40s and you're still doing that, then it might be like, it might be time to find something else to do or move on to full on programming. Well, here, since that's, that's done. Wait, can I, can I stack any more on this? I wonder, I wonder. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stack this one. It's just too big. Oh gosh. That fell right off there, didn't it? Oh, oh, just ow. Come on, come on. There we go. I hope I was able to show that concept of the assembly table. I don't want to get in trouble by the devs. Boop, 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 boop. All right. There we go. Nice. Just got to be careful over the little bumps. I don't know that this is going to go over so well. Oh, nice. So I accelerated, but I let go of the gas just before going over the bump. And the momentum took me the rest of the way. Oh. Okay, I'm stuck. It lifted the wheels off the ground. Dang it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Come on, push. Push. Push, please. It's it's like full on stuck. Okay. Um Is this going to still be stuck? I think it's still going to be stuck, isn't it? Oh, there we go. That worked. Okay. So, take one like this. And one like this. Oh, that's a heavy one. Heavy, heavy. Ooh. By the way, uh, my dad got his haircut done. Congratulations, Dad. Look good. It looks good on you good haircut he also got to go to KFC um, for those of you that don't know my dad doesn't really get out too much anymore but that's okay he's retired and he can do whatever he wants so I'm just I'm super happy he got to get out and go on the town tonight it was good oh we got to go to Olive Garden by the way fancy and I went ahead and come came off uh, keto. So like I've been on uh, keto for the last um, three weeks. And finally, today I broke and I'm like, you know what? We don't get to go out to Olive Garden very often. And when we do, it's not uh, like I'm, I'm usually on keto and I can't have anything. So tonight I had the shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Mmm. Lots of noodles. And we had the spinach artichoke dip. And we had uh, breadsticks with Alfredo sauce, dipping sauce. Mm. It was good, really good. And then we got to have the uh, chocolate mousse cake afterwards. Mm. So good. Anyhow. <sighs> oh, by the way, I signed up for this um, this thing called Extra Life. It's a charity, like a streaming charity, where you collect up money for like the St. John's Miracle Network, stuff like that. Um, just different uh, charities that you can donate to, but you go and play video games for charity. I'm like, that's really cool. I like that. 
That's not my house. Where's my house? Oh, there's my house. Good deal. All right, I think that's gonna be too big. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be too big. So we'll chop this down. Hi, Mario. What's up, buddy? Whew, that is a big log. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that these are all the way up. Two point nine, one point seven. I hope that's the right setting. All right. Has the glitch been fixed? No, it has not. Thank you. Hi, Jeremy. Let's see if this one's oh too big. Oh, I can just barely lift it. <sighs> Usually, if I can, if I can't lift it, that means it's what's up, Flippy. Usually, if I can't lift it, that means it's over thirty pounds or thirty units. So. Let's check. Yeah, that's over. So we're gonna have to chop that in two, just like this. Do you guys like the tutorial ones where I show you how to move stuff and put things in? Why did that one fall down? Hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and chop these all in two. Oh my gosh, we're already to 22 minutes. Oh man. That's crazy. And remember, if you haven't done so already, Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Do that cool stuff. I'm gonna have other videos, other other games that I wanna play. <sighs> Actually, you know what? I should totally record some Township tonight and let you guys see the progress that I've gotten into. And if you haven't played Township Tale yet and you've got an Oculus, Oh, you don't know what you're missing. It is, it is so awesome. Move structure. B. Why can't I see this? Like, am, am I too? Oh, there we go. I just wasn't facing it. Did I already get all the, the wood out of mine? I think so. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. Oh, sorry. I think there was still, there's still a lot more wood up there. So we'll head back. Go we'll grab the rest of that wood. I'll pause it while I do that, by the way. Oh yeah, we still had a lot of lava wood up here. So let's try to pull down the whole thing. Builder me, what's up, buddy? Hey. Uh, I remember you doing lumber remake videos and I didn't know if you'd finish that one. No, those were concept ideas of like how um, how lumber worked. 
like the the little ball for the grab and the the movement system and stuff like that. How to place things on bases. How's this game so far for you all? Love it. <clears throat> Oh gosh. All right. Try that again. Come on, get in there. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Excuse me. Whoa. I should be able to just drop this right on top, right? Yeah. Awesome. Oh my lord, I didn't even realize. <laughs> didn't realize what? Oh gosh. Hello, Code. It's cool to be in a game with you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. But, I hate to say this, I gotta hide the chat. I think that was, do you want a plastic car? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a plastic car. That'd be cool. If you want. I mean, it's up to you. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to drive backwards, right? Because driving backwards is how we got stuck last time. So. Ooh. Sorry, Flippy. Hmm. We've, we've had ideas for being able to plant the the kinds of trees that that grow onto your base but the concept would have to be like you can't harvest them like you could move them after they're grown and stuff but we wouldn't want you to have the ability to harvest off your land you know that'd be that'd be super op overpowered To have the ability to like grow your own little forest or garden that'd be kind of cool oh gosh i don't think this is going to stay on there but that's okay we've only got a few minutes left there we go drop that on there all right um i tell you what i will pause it while i get back to my base oh no it completely fell off dang it okay i think i may have just figured something out so these are the two smaller pieces and that's the bigger of the three, right? So what I'll do is I will place the smaller, oh gosh, place the smaller pieces into the truck first and try and get them to sit side by side and then put the larger piece up above. That way these are kind of like supporting the other one. Is that what I did before? I don't know if that was what I did before or not. Come on. Come on, get in there. There we go. That'll be good. <clears throat> didn't I say I was going to pause it for this part? That way you guys didn't get all bored watching me like, <gasps> Oh gosh! Of course, this could be entertaining! <laughs> you can't find me. That's because I'm I'm gathering wood. I'm playing the game. I'm gaming. There we go. Ah, uh, truck stuck. Okay, jump out. There we go. Ooh, ooh, po <laughs> That's a way to do it. Just take the whole tree. You know. That's a that's a very good idea. Chop down a tree and then take the whole thing. So. Here, let me turn that off. We'll go back to pause. What do we need again? 21,000? I think it's 21,000 that we need to get the next plot of land. No! I just dropped a piece, like, right there. Dang it. All right. I'm going to chop this up and put it put it on the thing real quick. Be right back. <sighs> I wish we had a fire axe of some kind. There we go. Oh, Hi. Oh, are you grinding right now, Code? Totally. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that is a that's a lot of lava wood though. That's awesome. Do I want that car? Yes. <laughs> but I digress. If if I want cars and stuff, I have access to all of it. So But again, I try and play like a player. Sure. You know me, I'm never one to refuse a gift. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, do I screen chat? There we go. And I'll actually end it on that. I will probably go sell some of this stuff off and then that way we'll have more uh, money to do. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Woodmill Incorporated with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, um, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.